Here, we're at the Wyndham on iDrive where they're gonna be hosting Spooky Empire next month. I thought that I'd take you guys over and let you take a look around the hotel as well as the convention area. Let's go over and check things out. So I wanted to show you guys this parking lot area that just so happens to be right behind the Wyndham. There are some of the other Wyndham buildings. This whole space can be used to park for Spooky Empire. Look at this. All the parking. Of course the hotel does have parking as well, but this is the additional parking lot. So, if you come and you can't find parking, go back out on iDrive and park behind the Chewies in the giant parking lot. Hopefully this will help you guys out. So right there is the sign for the Wyndham and Cooper's Hawk, because Cooper's Hawk is attached to the Wyndham. If you go that way, it's the convention area and check-in. If you come back this way, it does point you to that giant parking lot. There is a Starbucks there, and there's also a Walgreens right next door. That Walgreens, you can pick up alcohol, toiletries, snacks, whatever. Um, it's quite convenient, and right next to the hotel just in case you're missing anything. So here's the front entrance to Cooper's Haas, which you can access from the convention area of the Wyndham. Their food is delicious, a bit pricey because that restaurant is not exactly the cheapest, but if you're here on a Sunday, it's definitely some good high quality food. So right now we're walking up towards the actual entrance of the convention area and beyond that is checking. So I'm going to take you guys down through the check-in area. I'm going to walk you around the pool area, the hotel a little bit. And then we're going to come back and we're going to check out the convention area. I think there's an event going on. So I don't know exactly how much we're going to be able to see. We're crashing it. But we may just crash it because <laughs> why not? It's, it's open to the public, right? Sure. I mean, hey. So this is your main entranceway into the Wyndham. Um... Again, this right here is their convention area entrance. See, oh, conference center. So that's one of the areas. That's where the convention is held. Your tattoo room, your vendor rooms, all of the celebrity guests, photo ops, everything to do with the convention is happening in that building. And it is actually quite large. So it's always a good area. Air conditioning is usually pretty decent in there. Plenty of bathrooms. Plenty of hallway space to walk around, so you're not feeling too crowded, which is always a plus. At least for me, because I, I don't like feeling crowded. No. And then here's another entrance that also leads you up into the convention area. Um, last year you could go up these stairs and there was a will call table for you to pick up your tickets and then the ticket window was in there as well for your general admission and your VIP passes. And they've got little signs everywhere that tells you. So when you pull in, you're going to walk all the way down here, which is where you're headed. And this is to check in. Um, the hotel itself has different buildings. Building 13 and 12 are going to be the closest to the convention area. Don't tell them that. Sorry, that's a secret. Shh, it's just between us though. We're not going to tell this to anybody. So it's definitely if you're coming out for an event and you want to be close to the convention area, those buildings are going to be ones that you're going to want to check out. So up here is their check-in spot and I'll pick this back up once we get up there. So yeah, if you're coming to check in to your hotel room for a spooky empire, you are going to come to this lovely front piece. You're going to walk through them double doors and that's going to be your check-in area. So we're going in, and this is their check-in area. They've got a bar and a lounge. This is their front desk, and if you continue to go outside, you'll actually hit the pool area, which is what we're gonna do. So once you come out of those doors, after you've checked in, um, some folks walk to their room from here, which you can do. I recommend driving, because you're gonna wanna lug all your stuff over there, and you're gonna wanna move your car anyway. So they've got this nice little outdoor patio area. Which I'm personally quite fond of. So here's just a spot where you can come and chill out. It's right set out of the main entrance, or where check-in is. 
If you keep going down here, it's gonna take you to the pool area. It will also take you to Gators, which is their, uh, their poolside bar, which is normally where the party happens for Spooky, their after party. So once the convention shuts down, everybody comes to Gatorville, and that's kind of where where the party starts. Sometimes they do drink specials and things like that. But here's a map of the Wyndham. Just to give you guys an idea of how big it is and all the different buildings. So yeah, as you can see, building 12 and 13 are gonna be your closest to the actual convention area over here. And then as you can see, it's got the Walgreens, there's a Starbucks and UPS store, then there's a whole bunch of other restaurants here. And where that Chewy's is and Cold Stone, all back here is parking. So if you get here and you're coming just for the day, come back here to park. It's free, there's no charge for it, and it's definitely safe. And I just wanna show you guys. Let's see outside a hotel check-in. I really do love this hotel. We've been coming here since, what year did Spooky start here? Uh, 06, I believe. Like 06, so it's been a long time. So there we got, over there's a hot tub. And it looks like they're doing some construction of the pool. This is Gatorville. So they've got some food in there. They've got heaters. Um, the bar usually has awesome drink specials. The food in there is pretty good. We've eaten there a couple of times. Um, and yeah, we normally kind of chill out in this area. And there's their pool. Wow. So I'm assuming they're doing a redo because that's normally open. Uh, we still got a month to go till spooky. So I'm imagining that this whole area is going to be filled in and fixed. I hope. Hopefully. I'm sure it will be. Um, there is a sign, so let's see what the sign says. And normally they've got like spooky empire banners hung up all over the place, so you know where the party's gonna be that, and you'll hear it from, well, you'll, you'll hear it from everybody out there hanging out. Um, so yeah, the sign does say it is close for refurbishment. Doesn't give a time, um, so I'm not sure how long it's gonna take, but they're in the process of it, so I'm sure it'll get fixed soon. As you can see back here, there are some more buildings that are also part of the hotel. So there's 10, there's eight and nine. Um, seven I think is over there. 12 is right there and then 13 is there just to kind of get your bearing. So it's it's quite a large hotel. They've also got some exterior bathrooms. Um, sometimes they'll have a grill set up so you can get some food after the convention's over. And that food's usually, usually pretty good. So we're gonna walk you guys back up this way because there is also a second pool, which is open, so yay! <laughs> um, this kind of turns into the main hangout slash party area. They usually have a DJ up. There's one of their lovely pools, and their pool is so nice. Um, we usually hang out in the hot tub. That's where you can find us the last day of the show. Kind of relaxing and getting our bearings back, if you will. So, this is quite a large little walkway. Now, aside from doing, of course, hosting Spooky Empire here, they also do weddings, they have um, a couple of gaming tournaments that they'll hold here as well. So this venue hosts quite a lot of stuff. Uh, back in the day when Spooky first came to Orlando, they were here for their October show, and they started using it for their their mayhem shows, which originally happened in May. And now they host most of their shows here, just for their March or their April events, like their smaller, smaller events, because the October crowd is huge and it would not fit in this hotel, in my personal opinion. But they've got this beautiful grassy area. Here you can see building number seven. And then if you continue to walk straight back is their actual parking area. They've also got another little area out here to kind of chill by. So the Wyndham is kind of our home away from home, at least for their March events, because that's where they've been forever. 
and it's definitely it's probably one of my favorite hotels that we've we've been to because they're really cool they're really lax um, we're cool with them they're cool with us they let us hang out they let us have a good time they don't really you know bother us too much which is great and you know as a guest here at the hotel I can appreciate that and I also just want to say you know if you're gonna come for this event whether it's for the day or you tend you know you want to get a room and you want to stay and for the whole thing and be able to enjoy the after parties and all that stuff respect the staff respect the browns respect the grounds <laughs> respect everything don't throw your trash on the ground pick it up throw it in the garbage can there's plenty of them around you know just just be respectful because it's a place that I know a lot of people that have been coming for moons would love to come back to so I'm just asking you guys you know be respectful treat it better than your pad <laughs> this is back around in that little seating area we're gonna head towards the um, convention center area again and see if we can't get in there and just give you guys a little peek of what that looks like for those of you who have never been to the Wyndham and have never been to Spooky Empire at this hotel. There's that pool area we walked by again. I'm really sad the pool's closed. I'm sure they're gonna have it done though for by the time Spooky's back because that's, that's our jam, man. That's where we hang out. We got JD walking, he's gonna get the door. So we're gonna head inside again and we're gonna check out some other things. So this is their bar area and some additional seating, which is quite nice. We're gonna walk you guys back out front and to the actual convention area. All right, so now we're walking back towards the convention area of the hotel. Also, a big thing to note, I don't know if you guys can see it from here, I'm gonna try to zoom in. Not really. Okay. On the other side of building 13, if you guys walk that way, there's a Wawa. Yeah, you heard me. There's a Wawa. Get the Wawa app, order your food to go. It's gonna be the cheapest that you're gonna eat in this area. And the food's really good. You can get hot food. They've got stuff pre-made. They do run out of food. And if you do go over there to order stuff, sometimes it does take a while because of how crowded it gets. So if you have the app, do that it's gonna make your life a lot easier because that's it's usually what we do we live off a of Wawa when we're here because it's so convenient it's right next door and it's just it makes life easier so we are heading back up towards the convention area now I'm just gonna kind of walk you guys through um, see what we can see I don't know if there's an event going on so we're gonna we're gonna try it see what happens if there's an event we may not be able to see much but somebody's clearly working so we're gonna put this on hold for the moment so normally if you're gonna purchase your tickets um, or for will call when you walk inside you're gonna go to sorry to spin you you're gonna go to the right and that's where you're going to call or your general um, entrances if you have not gotten tickets so behind those doors, or usually where the vendor room is back in here, and if you continue to go down, there's celebrity rooms. Sometimes they do have vendors set up in this area. They usually bring out um, some food. So like chicken fingers and hot dogs and hamburgers and things like that, they normally set up along this wall here. So if you guys aren't digging Wawa or Starbucks or Cooper's Hawk or any of the other lovely places to eat here, definitely grab a bite at the hotel. Um, there's one set of the restrooms there. There's also another set way down here. Normally, the special effects uh, makeup table is outside around that area. <laughs> so if you come, you want to get your face painted or you want some makeup done, some additional stuff for your costumes, um, come see us. There will be a giant banner outside. Um, but yeah, so these rooms are the convention rooms or the ballrooms. So that's where most of um, the stuff is going to be as far as the vendors go. As well as some of the guests. Sometimes they do have the guests in a separate room, which is down in one of those over there. Here's that one main entrance I showed you guys earlier. There's a quiet little hallway where you can go if you really want to get away from people and just 
chill out on your own. They've got all kinds of these little areas just to kind of sit and relax and catch some AC, which is nice. This is their hibiscus room. Sometimes they'll have um, some guests set up in there. And they're, they're breaking down, it looks like, but I'm just going to peek into the next one. There's another room here. They'll usually have the celebrity guests in these rooms as well. And if you continue through, like I was saying earlier, there's Cooper's Hawk. So you can walk right into there, grab a table, sit at the bar, get something to eat, get something to drink. It's, it's kind of nice. But wait, there's more. We're not done yet. That's another exit and another seating area. So this is going into Cooper's Hawk. I'm actually gonna take you guys back, so I'm gonna see if I can't peek in one of those rooms that they're cleaning up, just to kind of see, uh, give you an idea of what they look like. So just to give you guys a sneak peek real quick. This is one of their rooms. Sometimes they'll put a celebrity, like one of the bigger names, they'll get in a separate room. So like Christopher Lloyd, maybe in his own room here, or Christina Ricci. Um, but the other rooms are much, much larger. So that's just one of the smaller ballrooms, just to give you guys an idea. So there's another entrance way here. So yeah, they're cleaning up from a previous event, so we're not going to bug them too much. But they were cool enough to let us just wander around real quick. So yeah, good times. Back on the floor. Now we were talking to a couple of the janitorial staff that were here and they're super excited for Spooky Empire to be here next month, uh, March. So we did ask them about the pool cause we were like, hey, what's going on? And they were like, listen, it's gonna be ready for you guys. So when you guys get here, that pool is gonna be done. So yay, we're gonna walk down this way. Now, of course, with these being some of the vendor rooms, Normally, the tattoo area and some additional vendor rooms are down this hallway here. You there's stuff down here? There is stuff down here. There's usually more stuff down here, which is fantastic. So, you come down this little hallway. Look. Here, just to show you guys. There is... There's building 13 right there. So, that shows you how close that building is to the convention area of the hotel. But you don't want to stay in the hotel. Stay in building 7. <laughs> so, if you keep coming down this way, it's going to take you down to some stairs. There's also a ramp for those of you that need to be wheelchair accessible. Huh? We've got this ramp here that comes all the way down. And then they've got regular stairs over there. Sorry for the finger in the shot. <laughs> Da -da -da. And it looks like they may still have some stuff going on. There are also more bathrooms down here. Yeah, they're still doing stuff. So in that area that says VIP, that's actually where the tattoo room normally is. And if you keep going straight down, it actually takes you back to that main bar area and this to check in. And in the past, they've had the costume contest down here. I don't know if they're going to do that again this year or not, which is actually usually in that ballroom right over there. So if you go down that other hallway, there's, there's still some more, some more spots for some vendors and the tattoo people. And this leads you back into the main bar area of the hotel. So yeah. It's like we've been here before. Plus, they've got that computer there. That computer can be used, so if you forgot to print your tickets or you can't get your app up to scan them, you can actually use the hotel computer there and you can print your tickets if you need to. So, make sure you log out. Yeah, make sure you log out because last time we got here, somebody left their computer logged in and we had to log it out for them. Look at that. And there's the Wyndham Ducks. Some of them. Oh. There, uh, this one wants to be in the video. Hello, Mr. Duck. How do you like your home here at the Wyndham? Are you enjoying your stay? On this lovely, lovely day? They, they, uh, they wait for pictures, apparently. 
So we are back by building seven where we took you guys earlier because we actually parked back here in this back parking lot and I wanted to show you guys how to get there from the Wyndham. So this whole area on I drive has all kinds of stuff as far as food goes. It's got some fantastic places to shop if you forgot any of your toiletries. Um, like, you know, the Walgreens. The Walgreens have pretty much everything, including alcohol. So does Wawa, of course. So if you don't stock up before you get here, when you do get here, you can stock up. But, yeah, I really like this place. Um, like I said, we talked to the staff a little bit earlier, and they're super excited to have us. Um, they love when we come, because we're, we're a pretty chill crowd. So if you're new, if this is your first year coming to Spooky Empire, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because anytime we switch hotels, I do like to do a little walkthrough just to show you guys the layout so you get a little sneak preview of it. So this area here is going to take you back to the parking lot. There's that nice big parking lot area, which is huge. And I'm actually gonna take you guys through the parking lot and I'm gonna show you where Uno's is, which is where we are going to be clicking off the clown stomp. I know I'm excited about it. It does happen from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Uno's. We will have makeup artists out there for anybody that wants to get their faces done up. Um, they do charge a fee, so, and it varies by artists and what type of things are getting done. But we're really excited for that. So let's head on over that way and I'll show you guys how to get there from here. It's really easy. You come back through that main area of the Wyndham. You head through the parking lot here. And you make your way towards a drive. So it's really easy to get to, and it's a quick walk. And I wanted to take you guys on this journey just to show you exactly how close it is to the Wyndham. We're just gonna show them where Uno's is. Um, we're not walking all the way over there because we're actually gonna go check out the Orlando Eye which just so happens to be over there, as well as their new swing ride. There's Ripley's, believe it or not, as well. So if you get here on maybe a Thursday, you're looking for something to do, go check out that area. There's tons of stuff. They got a skeleton museum and a Madame Tussauds, it's like a wax museum, all kinds of stuff. So if you're looking for something to do before or after the convention, maybe check those areas out. So we're making our way towards I Drive. And it's a quick one. I'm gonna make a pit stop at the truck so I can grab something cool to drink because it's pretty hot out here. Bring yeah, bring shorts, it's Florida. Definitely bring shorts. We should have beautiful weather. Make sure that you stay hydrated, especially if you're gonna be imbibing. And if you are gonna be having some alcohol, bring some Pedialyte. That stuff is, uh, is your lifesaver. So I'll hit you guys back in just a moment. All right, so we're back. And we're heading over towards where Uno's is. Now, like I said, if you cut to the parking lot here back behind the Wyndham, it's a quicker walk. Um, for the walk, they do go down I Drive. They hang a right at, what is that, Sand Lake? At Sand Lake, down I Drive to the convention area of the Wyndham, where we'll call it. So this is actually, this little shortcut that I'm taking you guys on does lead you up to I Drive and it's gonna lead you across the street to Uno's. So it's it's literally what? A five minute walk? Seems a lot longer with gear, but yeah, it's only about five if you're not carrying anything heavy. Yeah, we always carry a bunch of stuff, so for us it feels like a lot. Oh, check it out! The swing's going. That thing does go all the way up. It's not for me, because I'll be honest, I don't want to get, you know, flung across that drive or anything. Not that it would happen or that it's really a safety concern, but uh, for me personally, that's just, no thanks, I'm good. I'll let other people go on and watch those things. But the Orlando Eye does look pretty. So as you're walking this way, across the street there, you should be able to see it from here, is Uno's. So that's where we're gonna have the, uh, the little clown stop. That's where it's gonna start. So again, starts at 11 a.m. Come on over, hang out. Grab a bite to eat, grab something to drink. Um, there's plenty of people, you know, just come over and hang out and have a good time. And it's kid friendly. So definitely 
bring your kids. You don't have to have a costume to come hang out. If you just want to come hang out to hang out, do it. You know, there's no harm in that. If you want to come out and meet some people, do so. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump across the street here. So yeah, that's the rest of I drive. And there is a red robin right there for you to get some grub. So just to give you a quick idea again, there's Uno's. And across the street is Ripley's. And if you keep going through that parking lot is the area for the Orlando Eye. So, you know, again, if you're there Thursday waiting for the event to start, or if you're there Monday afterwards, you might want to check out one of these two fun local attractions. Uh, Ripley's is pretty cool. It's quite large. There's lots to do. So yeah, that's, it's something I would recommend doing. All right, so just to show you guys. There they go. That's the Star Flyer. This is the newest attraction on I Drive. And it's a swing and a lap bar. And they're still going up. Yeah. So for you daredevils out there, head on over to Star Bar. That might be something fun for you. Alright gang, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and my small tour of the window. If you have not yet done so, give this video a thumbs up. Um, what did you guys think? Have you been to the window before? Leave me a comment down below. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super excited for Spooky Empire next month. That's going to do it again for this week's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and if you've not yet done so, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep it spooky.